And this is an administration that is utterly lawless. And, and, and unfortunately, the American people are paying the price. I have to move to this because this, you know, the Fifth Circuit, uh, you and I know well, blocked Biden's vaccine yeah. mandate. But the White House is encouraging businesses to go ahead and implement it. Watch. This is about keeping people in a workplace safe. We're trying to get past this pandemic, and we know the way to do that is to get people vaccinated. So people should not wait. They should continue to, to go uh, move forward and make sure that they're getting their, their, uh, their workplace vaccinated. Injunction? Listen. This is unfortunately a completely lawless administration. The Fifth Circuit quite rightly stayed Biden's illegal vaccine mandate. They issued an injunction uh, against enforcing it. And the White House is saying, ignore the court injunction. What's up, everybody? Makes retired Richard Ojeda here. And Ted Cruz is what you get when you combine a turd with a microphone. You know, he is incapable of opening his mouth without spewing toxic filth. The senator from Texas is the most despised person in Washington. He's the most despised person in America. Cruz has no integrity. This is a man who tried to put the blame on his teenage daughters when he was confronted for abandoning the people of Texas when they were literally freezing to death as a result of the state's incompetent policies. When Texas froze over, it was Cruz who failed to lead during a time of crisis. When he was called out, he said that leaving Texas for Cancun was obviously, I quote, a mistake. Well, Senator, the biggest mistake was the people of Texas electing you to represent them. And let's hope that they don't repeat that mistake the next time you run. The bill that Cancun Cruz so vehemently opposes is an infrastructure bill. The makeup of this bill is the exact type of legislation that would repair Texas's broken energy grid. And rather than Cruz fighting to make sure that Texas receives as much funding as it can from this bill to repair its crumbling infrastructure and save Texan lives, Cruz instead decided to attack the 13 House Republicans who voted for America instead of partisan crap politics. Ted Cruz hates America. I know that sounds inflammatory or judgmental or whatever you want to call it, but look, folks, I call it the way I see it. Here is a man that cheered on an attack on our nation's capital. And while that was happening in real time, he also tried to overthrow the will of the people that very day on January 6, 2021. America was built on democracy, diversity, culture, the middle class, everything that Cruz opposes. He is the walking embodiment of a hypocrite who loves welfare when it is distributed in the form of tax tax incentives for the billionaire handlers. But when it comes to the middle and working class, he wants us to have nothing. Lying Ted's latest enemy is none other than Big Bird. I kid you not. This overweight sack of filth has now chosen to square off with Sesame Street. I cannot wait until this jackaloon is up for re-election, and I'm going to make sure that every Texan knows who Ted Cruz is and what he's all about. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.